Hello and welcome back with me, Admiral. Joining me back on Star Trek Fleet Command as always. Uh, I firstly want to apologize for not posting any contact in, or content in the last couple of weeks. Uh, the reason for this, I did um, get a new puppy two weeks ago. Uh, and obviously, with getting a new puppy at eight weeks old, a lot of maintenance needs to go into that. And that's basically what I've been doing over the last two weeks, as well as obviously trying to find a job. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, I had an interview and hopefully something comes of it. Uh, and we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm really looking forward to, if I do get the job, really looking forward to working for that company. Uh, anyway, so going to the game, I have been keeping up with the game. Uh, I have been doing everything that I can. Uh, I've been doing my dailies. Uh, I've been doing everything other than spending extra time on the game. So I like to say, I have been doing my dailies uh, regularly. So if we just quickly head over to here. So if you go to obviously these, uh, I pulled my I pulled my two chest one, like I say, three, four days ago, four days ago now, and I've been doing the last three days. Uh, I've got them. Obviously, I'll get the fourth one today. Uh, and then I have been building up, obviously, the 30-day chest. As you can see, I got the two, which, again, was four days ago, and I'm building up to, obviously, getting the two chests. Well, probably build up to get the two chests pull, uh, as I'm probably not going to pull the one chest. Um, so I have been keeping up with the game. Let's just do this quick bonus thing while we're here. A bit of that, which is always good. Uh, if you have noticed, I did manage as well to get the D4. It's currently getting built. It's got two days and 13 hours to go. So once that's built, we're not going to be upgrading it, but I do want the ship regardless. Uh, so yeah, we have we did manage to get that and a couple of a little bit more um, shards towards getting the Enterprise as well. As you can see here, we are 99 out of 150. So as you can see, we're just building up our basically our credits to try and get the Enterprise as well. Um, so we've got 51 to go on the Enterprise. Other than that, we're building up our Romulan credits quite nicely. And we're just going to keep building them up until we're ready to move on to Celebrated and then move up um, towards the more advanced ships once we get off to, see, to level 39, uh, which we're not anywhere near. So like I say, we're not in a huge rush. We're level 37 at the moment. As you see, we're just upgrading some of the stuff on the outside of the base. Uh, the inside of the base is relatively upgraded as well. So we've already got the main ops building. The officers, we've got the R&D building as well. Uh, we've still got the shipyards to go. And we've still got everything else basically to go to get to level 37. Uh, we did a couple of things, the foundry, for example, and stuff like that as well. Uh, so we've got plenty of stuff to be upgrading to get to level 37. And as you can see, the D4 is currently in the shipyards getting built, which is always nice. So getting on to today's main content uh, is going to be about the new arc. Going to be talking a little bit about the way the new events have been going. Uh, what I really do like about the new events, to be fair, which is pretty good. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit of a slog, but I can sort of look beyond it because the rewards are very, very good, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, the new arc itself... So if you go to the battle pass, uh, again, I won't be getting a bottom one because I don't have a job right now, so I can't really afford stuff like this. Uh, it would be nice, but yeah, that's not not good there. The rewards, again, are very similar to uh, the normal rewards other than the, like the officers and stuff like that. Uh, so there's no real difference. But as you see, we're up to level 13 uh, out of 20. 20 being obviously 254,000. Um, so we are on schedule to getting that done within the 11 days remaining um, so yeah, no real difference. The rewards are still 130, pretty decent uh, rewards for free to play. They are pretty decent rewards and again, pay to play or the elite pass, should I say, again, are pretty nice rewards for the top end as well. You get some pretty decent, I think the trick's a little lack, lacking on that one, but personally, it's not too bad. And then you max out with getting seller and obviously 11 of 11. Um, Seller is a pretty cool character. Uh, if you don't know much about it, I do advise you going over to Star Trek Online. There's a lot of missions that you can do uh, with, with regards to her and watch her involvement is with obviously the Romulans and stuff like that. And she is a very, very cool character. Uh, I won't talk too much about it here, but um, yeah, I would suggest getting over to that game to do the missions and stuff. And it's very cool. You find out a lot of information about the character that you didn't know before. 
uh, and a lot of stuff that the Romulans or Federation Romulan conflict that you didn't know before as well. Anyway, moving on. So then we go on to some of the, the newer stuff. I know they had this in the last arc, uh, and I didn't talk about it, but we'll talk about it in this one. Uh, I think it's really good. Uh, it's a bit of a slog. However, the rewards, in my opinion, are really, really good. And that is the Hunt the Klingons. I know the last one was Hunt the Romulans. Uh, but I think the rewards in this are extremely good. Um, so, you, I mean, the top rewards, you're getting a lot of par steel. Um, like a, a lot of par steel. Um, which is amazing. Uh, especially when you're getting up to the higher levels. 30, 7, 8, 9, 40 plus. Now, obviously, you've got 50 plus as well up to level 60 um i would say anything above level 35 uh, it, to be honest there's probably anything above level 35 par steel is a massive bane uh, and getting resources like this from events like this that don't they do take a, a fair amount of time uh, i broke it down into probably just doing like maybe half an hour uh, in the morning half an hour in the afternoon half an hour at night and then i did another half an hour this morning because uh, I started it yesterday. I did half an hour this morning and I managed to complete everything. So it took away from having to do a completely long two hour sort of hour to two hour stint uh, getting it, this mission done. I was hitting uh, mainly level 40s, uh, level 38, 39s and 40s. They're the ones that I was hitting mainly with my auger. Um, so as you can see, the points are pretty low. Um, so it did take quite a while to do. Uh, but yeah, like they say, the rewards are really good. I mean, just off a, a rough guesstimate, what's that? That's uh, 123, uh, 147 roughly. Uh, so just save 150 million for, for ease and then plus say 15. Uh, so you're looking at a basically 165 million rough rough guesstimates. I'm, I don't know the exact figures. I'm not going to work it out. But roughly it's a 165 million where for pass deal, if you can obviously get it. And then that doesn't include the tokens, which are a million tokens. Obviously, this is for my level, so just bear that in mind. This is for level 37. This will vary depending on what level you are. Uh, so just, like I say, uh, just, just bear that in mind. Um, but yeah, so it overall is really, really good. Um, and and I think they should do more like that. I think that... the. the Maybe the point system should be changed to make it a bit easier so it doesn't take as long. Uh, but overall, the rewards are very good. Then you've got ones like this as well. So the complete conquest events. Um, so you can get these rewards as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then you just got the normal conquest SLBs. You got cloak and dagger, which again is another good one. Uh, it's pretty cool again. You don't get much, you just get a few crystals and a bit of trait, which is not amazing, but it's not too bad. It's it's not a bad event again. Uh, it does take quite a while on this one also. You do get slightly more points than the other one, but the, the score is a lot higher as well. Uh, I'm probably not going to complete it because I don't want to spend any more time hitting hostiles. But that's just, that's just me and everyone knows that I don't spend a stupid amount of time doing that. Um, and then yeah, you got all the other st stuff. You got obviously a modder hunt. Uh, I still need to do the mission arcs and stuff, so uh, that's why I haven't done that next one. Uh, you got the acquire cloak and stuff like that. Um, use tetron, and then we got obviously attack, uh, defeat hostiles with a cloaked ship, which I'm going to look into because again, uh, over the next hour, because the rewards are pretty good. So we'll see if we can get that one done if we can, and then we're going to do the missions as usual. Uh, and then yeah so overall i would say this arc's mi extra missions are pretty decent um, i would rate them out of 10 probably at a 7 um, the rewards are pretty good overall um, the only thing that lets them down is the time that it takes to do them um, but like i say you can counteract that with maybe the rewards uh, as the rewards are pretty good overall and so yeah, that's a little breakdown of where we're up to. The little breakdown of the arc itself. Going into the actual sale stuff, what what the, would I recommend anything? Uh, if you if you're gonna be spending any money on the game, Battle Pass, the eighteen pound fifty or eighteen pound forty nine one. This is the one I recommend getting for the Battle Pass. If you're you know you're gonna complete the Battle Pass and all the way to the end, this is definitely the one I would recommend. 
Uh, I wouldn't recommend getting the £90 one or whatever the currency is for you, uh, as I believe it's not worth it. And then second repair elite and second repair slot, I again, I don't think I don't think it's worth the money, if I'm honest. Obviously, if you're in the game to spend the money, then that is completely your choice. Um, and obviously, you can go ahead and do what you want. But I personally wouldn't spend money on just getting an extra repair spot. Uh, it's very useful in some cases, but I wouldn't bother. And most of the other stuff you already know, I'm not going to recommend because it's completely, in my opinion, a massive waste of money. But yeah, so other than that, hopefully this has been good. Hopefully you look forward to seeing some more content over the next couple of days slash weeks. Uh, I, I'm going to be getting back into it again, uh, I promise. And uh, hopefully we can start doing some more extra stuff and maybe might be able to fit a stream in maybe over a weekend at some point uh, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm not going to promise due to obviously, like I say, the puppy is only 10 weeks old as the moment. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to promise anything. <laughs> so hopefully you'll see more of me over on YouTube though. Uh, but yeah, thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to comment down below on all the things you like about this arc and uh, what your thoughts and opinions are about the, the game overall. Uh, other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.